Let's get it out the way right now. This is one of the best looking games ever. You understand that? From the moment I fired up Gears 5, I was blown away by the presentation. Blown away. The graphics in this game, I'm telling you, they're undoubtedly some of the best I've ever seen. Every moment spent out of combat is time spent admiring the environment instead. The level of detail they put into this game is absolutely incredible. Forget Crobe Cat's little Gears Lacks Weight and Intensity video. I'll take this graphical showcase over anything he showed from Gears 2 any day of the week. Like, this isn't, this isn't even a debate. This is the definition of immersion, people. A game that looks so fantastic, you can't help but feel like you're a part of it. And I know that sounds lame, but it's true. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I was very skeptical of this game. Very skeptical. Mainly because of the fact Kate takes lead in one of the most testosterone-fueled gaming franchises ever. She's pretty much the face of Gears now. And with it being 2019 and everything is being the way that it is, I pretty much had my mind set on how this game was going to be. So I figured I'll game pass it and I'll be done with it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was pleasantly surprised by the outcome. Not only is this a good Gears game, dare I say it's one of the best in the franchise. If not, and you know it's already coming, if not the best. It's that good, I shit you not. Let's talk about the story right quick, and I'm not going to discuss spoilers, plot details. I just want to touch up on the fact that the story is really, really good this go-round. Like, really good. It's like they actually hired some good writers. Not only was I sucked into this massive, beautifully crafted world, but I was also very invested. For the first time ever in a Gears game, I was very invested in the story. This hasn't happened with a Gears game, people. The voice acting was not near as corny as past Gears titles, because let's be honest, Gears has always been a bit corny in the story department. But this one goes in a much more serious direction. Kate doesn't come off like this badass, I am woman, hear me roar, feminazi character. Instead, she seems like a battle-worn soldier that's drained emotionally and all the while trying to stay strong for the fight ahead. I actually, dare I say it, liked Kate. I didn't mind playing as her at all. She felt like one of the boys. And Marcus, even though he wasn't playable, it still felt good to see the old boy in action. The story actually ties into past Gears games, and it does so pretty damn brilliantly. I was very impressed with the story. Act 1 is super intense and definitely one of the highlights of the game for me. And get this, nobody annoyed me either. There's always that one annoying character that you can't stand. It's like you just want to fast forward the cutscene because of that character. I didn't have one in this game. I didn't feel that way about anybody except maybe, maybe the Prime Minister lady. Gameplay. Because that is one of the most important factors in a game. The gameplay is so seamless, people, I can't believe how smooth everything feels. This is one optimized game on PC too. I'm running high settings, 1080p, 120 FPS. Absolute gaming perfection. And I use a keyboard and mouse. This is the first Gears game I ever completed using a keyboard and mouse. So, not only is this one of the most stunning looking games I've ever played, it's also one of the best feeling. I absolutely love the feel of this game. I've, I've always enjoyed Gears Combat. Matter of fact, I've always loved it. Especially the brutality of it. And Gears 5 doesn't skip a beat, let me tell you. It just speeds everything up and gives you a vast array of options to kill your oppressors and kill them very, very violently. And this, this, my friends, is a very, very good thing. Jack actually takes the stage, Mr. Robot this go around, giving you all kinds of abilities you didn't have in previous titles. Need a gun across the map? Hey Jack, go get it. Need a heavy weapon across the map? Hey Jack, go get it. Need to be cloaked so you can sneak up on your enemies and smash them over the head with something or shoot them at point blank range with a gnasher? Hey Jack, cloak me. Jack can also give you health boost, flash your enemies, hijack enemy robots, Give you a damn force field for crying out loud. Highlight enemies, suck your dick. Okay, 
he can't do that. <laughs> he may as well be able to with all the shit that he can do. <laughs> I apologize for that. I don't know what came over me. That was very unprofessional. Let's talk about the perks, okay? On top of the abilities, there's perks. You can unlock an ultimate ability. So cloak, for instance, you'll stay cloaked even while firing. Whereas before, you become uncloaked when you fire. When you tag enemies, you'll do 20% more damage. It's all actually really in-depth and creates another layer of strategy to an already robust combat system. Weapons feel smoother and stronger than ever. The Lancer sounds like a freaking monster. The sounds the heads make when they pop off people. It never gets old. It never gets old. Not to mention how gloriously violent everything looks on top of the sound effects. Moving from cover to cover feels fantastic. And the damn hand cannon is one of my favorite weapons of this game, this go-around. Absolutely brutal. It's fantastic. You can also carry heavy weapons much faster, too. You climb ladders and go into different areas with them. I feel like they disappeared in past games. I could be wrong, though. Don't take that as a fact. As far as the open world concept goes, I guess it was fun sledding around in the winter area, but by the time I got to the desert, I was kind of over it. I was just, I was ready to move on. I was wanting and longing for the standard linear layout with a shit ton of enemies for me to kill. It kind of goes with the story though, so it doesn't feel, I can't say it feels half-assed. It's just, it's different. Some of the desert side content was a bit underwhelming, but nothing, nothing that hurt the experience. Pacing was just about on the money. There were very few instances where I was bored. I spent a great deal of this game just waiting for them to F something up. But it never came. Even the boss battles felt better than previous titles. Oh, isn't this such a sweet little review that we got here? Let's get to the bad shit, shall we? Because there's some bad shit we need to discuss. The swarm is so aggravating. And sometimes I don't feel like they have the equipment that I need to deal with them. Because they're so bullet spongy and when I use the regular ammo it just doesn't get it done the way I need to get it done the AI can be super dumb I was fighting a berserker that was one hell of a bullet sponge and I kept failing because my retarded AI partner kept dying so I eventually just had to constantly shoot at him even though it wasn't hurting him just to keep his attention on me disconnections oh my goodness disconnections people I lost connection five times from my party on day one, I was sent back to the main menu. My game crashed once. My son's game crashed on his Xbox One X. It froze another time. I had to restart several, and I do mean several checkpoints, because something wouldn't load. So we'd have to restart to get the ball rolling and move the mission forward. Sometimes Jack's won't, Jack won't go get the weapon that I tell him to go pick up. And I know there's a heavy ability that you have to unlock before he can go get heavies. That's not what I'm talking about. Sometimes I would point at items and Jack just wouldn't go get them. And that's super aggravating. Short of these issues, short of this, this is about as perfect as a game can get. Good pacing, awesome story, over the top violence, smooth as butter gameplay, some of the best visuals in the business and overall production quality through and through. This is a game Xbox fans have been waiting for. And not only did it live up to the hype, it set the bar for what other Xbox games should strive for in the future, what they should strive to be, I should say. So if you haven't played it, people, go get yourself an Xbox, fire it up on PC, do what you gotta do, get to playing, because this gaming experience is a rare one. Something of this quality doesn't come along very often. If I had to rate it, even with the issues, this is a solid nine out of 10. Awesome game. I will holler at you guys later.
Mind control. I took care of it. DBs, we gotta secure this straight. Badass shit, huh? Oh, that was awesome. You 